But let me say this, you can have so much social media that you end up becoming apathetic towards living your own life. You become apathetic toward living your own life. And, and some people will spend their entire existence watching other people live their life. And some people will live their life. And they end up stop living in reality and they live in social media land where every picture of your kids is good. You know how many, the most recent picture I had of my kids, you know how many frames we had where they were all good? Zero. Zero. My wife literally had me Photoshop three photos together to make it look like we were smiling. <laughs> so if you looked at our picture, you're like, why can't my family do that? Mine can't either. You're like, how are your kids smiling? It's fake. <laughs> but she wanted a picture of all the kids smiling, so I made it happen, okay? <laughs> the best that I could. It's so fake. I like drew an arm for James. His arms are just completely fake. <laughs> You're like, just press his little arm. It's not even real. You think you can have so much of a good thing where you start living in this fantasy world where your reality is social media, not reality. Where you view the world through a, a lens of what social media says and does and what people are doing, and you don't even realize what real life is like. But the Bible tells us that we have a short amount of time on this earth, and, and instead of just watching all this vain stuff that you're going to forget anyways, look what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. 